Alright, I'm doing a quick little recording here just to showcase something. I think they've screwed up something in the traveler's log and yada yada. Notice how it's gather 250 herbs, gather 50 herbs or skin on the Dragon Isles, right? These are normally impossible for us because we don't have access to Dragon Isle. You may notice it says I've done 59 of them. Well, if I mine this ghost iron right here, we're at 59, it's going to close it. Mine 3, 62. So clearly they've got something broken here, and this is allowing us to gather herbs, ores, and skins anywhere, maybe, potentially, or at least here in Pandaria it's counting. So, just wanted to showcase this before anyone sees this progress and thinks that I'm cheating. I'm not. Simply broken on Blizzard's fault. Blame Blizzard. Hey, I was doing my rares, just flying around, and we got uh, the Throat Ripper right there. You might be able to tell I'm a little sick currently. That's why I uh, wasn't recording much. I was going to record today, but I uh, decided not to, as you said why. Um, but yeah, so that's one more of the rare weapons, which only leaves us the uh, Fangcracker Battle Mace up here, specifically from the rares that spawn here. While we're here, we're going to go ahead and open. I've stacked up five of the Zandalari supply bags here. I'm going to open them up, see if we can get any of the uh we're looking for the rare bags and we want the pants uh that's what we really want because we can get the battle mace but we're specifically what the hell is all that bunch of tailoring stuff do we need that also wind wall might as well hold on to them heavy wind wall bandage what is that ultimate tirage Ult that's not how you spell tirage that's not how you say tirage whatever what is this heavy are any to heal a player who's less than 5% health. Can I use that on myself? Like if I do like this right here, like I well, you know, I just fucking died. So maybe not my greatest move I've ever done right there, but um <sighs> Alright, let's try this again. Let's do like right there. Uh, okay, we need a little bit more. Something like that. Nope, I gotta go a little bit. Just a little bit more. Okay, well that's... Uh, uh, come on. I died again. God damn it. I gotta be at 5% health. That's pretty rough. We're gonna, we're gonna try this though. Uh, we're, we're gonna try and get... Oh my god. Okay, I should open the rest of my bags first, though. Is there an easier way to lower myself to, like, no health? I don't think so. I mean, other than, like, finding a specific fall. Be a funny way to get this achievement. Alright, let's open these bags first. Leather, who cares? Oh, man. We got one of the bags, but it was a staff and cloth pants. That's really unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate. And then that one is more herbs. Alright, something like that, maybe. Not a little bit more. 40%. Okay, just a, just a little bit. Oh. That's not enough. Ooh. Hey, we got it. There you go. Wow, I really pushed it there. 1% health. There you go. Ultimate Tirage. That's still not... It doesn't matter. But yeah, uh, that's a tailoring achievement. But uh, turns out you can just get the uh, bandages from this. So There we go. I guess we can sell these now. We got the achievement and they're kind of useless. Alright. Okay, there you go. Um, we got an achievement, too. Uh, nothing else really useful, but uh, we, as you can also see, we're stacking up a lot of crafting materials from doing this. An absolute fuck ton of them. Tons of herbs. Not many enchanting mats, to be fair, but tons of herbs, tons of trillium ore. Not a lot of white, but a lot of black. Uh, you see, we have a lot of the rep tokens and stuff. Uh, we still only have one mount, of course, but... Uh, definitely a ton of stuff. The pants is going to be the scariest thing. The four pair of pants that I have to get from the uh, Zandalari treasure bags. 
Um, because I have to roll the armor, and then I have to roll the pants. Now, theoretically, I could roll two pants per bag, so it can only take two bags, but I don't know if I'll, I'll be that lucky. Anyway, you all have a good one. All right, there we are. Got the Fangcracker Battle Mace. Fangcracker? Yeah. Uh, so, with that, that means we have all of the rare loot here. Besides the actual mounts from the Warbringer, the things from the bags, might as well open this. So you can see all the things there. That's actually a shield. That's three pair of pants and a shield. I thought it was four pants, but yeah. Three pair of pants and a shield we still need from these bags. We still need a couple more insignias. Not a lot. We're getting pretty close to having all of them. And then, of course, we need the two dire horns. Well, that was a mining bag. Uh, absolutely full of stuff, though. Tons of gems and stuff. Not going to complain about gems. Even with this ancient Pandarian mining pick, gems are rare to mine. Uh, but with this, um, the only rare I got to camp is the Warbringers and, you know, the War Scouts. But, uh, yeah, I'll have a good one. It's also the Angler's Day here. So we have this large pool of uh, jade lungfish here. So... Um, if we fish from this enough, eventually that uh, boss will spawn what? Kraken? Krakenanen? What? How are you saying that? Um, so I'm going to fish here until I can get him to spawn, just so we can kill him. He's not needed for anything, but you know, he shows up on handy notes as like a rare, so I figured might as well kill him. Um, and I'd see that the large pool is up, so we're going to go ahead and uh, see... This could take a while. I don't know how long it takes. They, some people set it up to 100 casts, so uh, tune back in when he's here. Alrighty, here we are. Summoned him. Kill him there real quick before someone comes and steals it. Um, see, I got this uh, flying tiger gourmet, whatever. Uh, these are just like quest fish. I think you get them from fishing in wherever the angler's daily fishing is for the day. Uh, you can turn these in over in to Nat Pagel. We can't do that down in Kerosene Wilds. We're not there. Anyway, uh, he dropped some fish and some leather. So, and a feather. So, you know. There you go. That's, um, that's him. Like I said, he's, he is like, he's counted as a rare, but he's not really a rare. I really, I actually don't know what kind of the point of him is. Like, he barely dropped anything. Like, at all. You get more fish. I, mean, I don't know. I guess, like, you fish in the angler daily area to get your quest fish and to get whatever fish is available. And you might as well fish in the large pool while you're there. And then when he when he spawns and you kill him, you get a little extra fish. I guess. And some other stuff. Ah, uh, we just don't have room for this. Uh, hold on. I gotta go sell stuff. I'm just going to open these crates. They're normally... Is there anything special in here? Deep fried candy bars. Red hot wings. Nah. Nothing crazy. You'll have a good one. Alrighty, here we are again. And it is time for us to actually finish... Um, the Jade Force questing. At least I hope so. Um, I hope so. I hope we finish it. I, I don't think there's a lot left, so... Um want to try and get it all done here today because we have other stuff we need to be do focusing on in this zone and I don't want these quests hanging over my head that uh, I need to get them done can I help you? Okay, well, yeah I mean I can I can do that that's that's nothing oh I guess we should go over here first yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll have another quest go over there. This is all preparation for the Battle of the Forest, or Battle for the Forest, I think it's called, actually. Yeah, Battle for the Forest. So, uh, why are we defeating Captive Hosen? This seem a little messed up. What's your report, what you, uh, let's see if the Hosen have... I mean, that's a, a little rough, right? Like, like I mean, it just kind of feels bad to do that. <laughs> we basically just killed a prisoner of war, right? G granted, we gave him trial by combat, I guess, so... 
But, uh, you know. Whatever you gotta do, I guess. It's not like the Hosen are exactly nice people. They would, uh... They would... Dude, this would... I'm just realizing, some of these quests would suck without flying in this area. They may have you go all over this place and, like... Phew, that would be rough. It's too far away. Alrighty, we just gotta kill some of these guys for the items. I'm out of range. Why can't I see him? He's hidden. Alrighty, wipe this camp out here. That's that's everything we needed. I killed another one for I killed another one for the war mace. There you go. Look at that uh, appearance that we already have, but one more to add to the list. Perfect. But, uh, yeah, as I was saying, uh, I want to try and get all the questing done today so we can, like, start focusing on solely on the Warbringers. There's a, we have the Order of the Cloud Serpent rep we got to get to, which we still haven't touched. I don't think it's as bad. It's not just dailies. Uh, it has a way. It's like the Netherwing Drakes and TBC. There's a way to grind it out all in one sitting. Um, we also have the... Uh, professions is a big one. Oh, hey, Lord Walker Joe. Last piece of the puzzle. Never seen the... The fresco. You chose heirloom, it chose family shrine. Where are we going? Sure, take me there. I'm ready to leave. Alright. I guess we're going to look at the, uh... Um... We're not going up here. We're going here. I don't know. We're looking at something before the full battle takes place. Uh, shut up, Aerobi. Um, I don't know. We're doing. We're doing this. Um, but yeah, like we have a lot of profession stuff we need to do, and uh, like we got cooking, blacksmithing, mining. We still have leatherworking, skinning, engineering fishing like of course as with every zone apparently that exists in the world uh there's some fishing grind so um we have the where is it these carps here now i'm pretty sure you can only get two of these I'm pretty sure you can only get the tiny green and the tiny white here um so ignore the red and the blue i'm pretty sure um we can only get, I'm pretty sure we can only get two of them in this zone. But, uh, they're, like, just extremely rare drops. Um, and, or, just take, is this the shrine? Is this, is this not, where, which one's the shrine? That, I don't know. Um, is, is it not that one? Is it over, oh, here it is. I see. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be um, quite a bit of fishing yet again. Oh, here we go. Oh, the battle is commencing. Here we are. Oh, I think I've seen this cutscene. Doesn't the Shaw, the Shaw of Doubt, erupt out of the middle of it all? Well, I'm pretty sure the battle actually starts and then the Shaw of Doubt is summoned. I also forgot that they, the goblins gave all the hosens guns. Yeah, and they reveal the third one, which is the uh, Shaw. Must lie within. What fate did the Emperor foresee? Yeah, I have seen this guy seen. It's funny how Nazgrim, comparatively to Admiral Taylor, is such a more important character. Admiral Taylor only shows up a couple times and never as a huge lore character. Nazgrim has been like a key horde figure from the beginning of WoW and then becomes like a boss in this expansion. He's a boss in Siege of Orgrimmar. Admiral Taylor, I don't think he does anything else important. He might be important in WAD, but I don't think so. Like it's crazy actually. Not the Jade statue. 
the J Dragon, sorry, even more so. Yep, there it is. I thought that was the Shaw of Anger when I first saw this cutscene, but no, it's the Shaw of Doubt. It's the one you fight in this dungeon. Hey there, buddy. You're a little big, aren't you? Wow, that was the battle for the force. That was it. Cool. Now those fishers are feeding it. Every good story needs a hero. Let's do this, Misha. What are we doing? We're shooting a cannon to try and blast these fissures closed. Makes sense. God, this guy is huge. Like, holy shit, he's huge. Like, um, he is way bigger than, like, any of the other Shaw. <laughs> like, all the Shaw are pretty big. Shaw of Anger, Shaw of Pride, Shaw, like, the raid bosses, the world boss. They're huge. The dungeon boss is pretty small because it's in a dungeon. They're, you know, it can only be so big. But this is enormous. It's actually pretty cool. Like, to see, like, look at him. Well, there he goes. I mean, granted, there's nothing they could really do. Like, what do you do against something that size, right? They have to, like, shrink him down to even have any actual, like, gameplay with him. Whoa. Powerful. Celestial just... I, I probably can just kill him myself. Okay. Yeah, no, they're elites, but I'm, you know, I can just kind of still one-shot them. Um, but yeah. I'm, I'm going to be honest, I can understand why people were so disappointed at the beginning here. Because, like, it, like, that wasn't a battle. We didn't even participate in the battle. We didn't even fight any horde other than the very beginning. Like, we went and helped other people and stuff. Like, come on now. You should be able to give us a little bit more than just uh, that as our horde versus alliance conflict. I mean, like, the entire point is that Miss Pandaria is, like, based, you know, structured on the fact that it's... Um, you know, Horde and Alliance is what started this entire... Exp the Horde versus Alliance conflict is what started this entire, like, expansion and stuff. Sure, it's, you know, it doesn't follow through with the entire story and everything, but... You know... It's just disappointing. Disappointing in my eyes, at the very least. If the, the battle for the forest could have been done a lot better. I mean, like, that was like three quests. Now, granted, I also say this much later after the fact. Um, they could have removed quests and stuff, too. Like, I have no proof that this is exactly how it was when it first started, either. So, let's not hate on it too much, because it could have been better, in my opinion. And they fixed, they changed it for whatever potential reason, because people wanted it to or something. Wow, that's it. That, well, okay, well, here's the Jade Serpent. That makes sense. Ah, uh, so she's not going to be passing on because the statue broke. I see. Um, I can't go to the Valley of the Four Winds. Uh... No. I don't want to even pick up that quest in case she immediately takes me to Valley of the Four Winds. I mean, there's no point in picking it up. Uh, I can drop this quest, too. I said drop it. Like, hide it, not actually drop it. But, well, there you go. There's Up Jade Complete. That, that was two chapters of story done in, like, what, ten minutes? Yeah, like, that was no time at all. Nothing. Now, is there a quest for Jade for it? Jade Temple now? Because I feel like there should be a quest for the Jade Temp the Temple of the Jade Serpent specifically. But uh, 
I'm not seeing one. All right, let's look at our quests here. We did that one. Can't do that one. Can't do that one. We did, we did, we did. We can't do that one. Uh, I think we can do this one, but, you know. Can't do that one. Those are pet battles. Did that one. Can't do that one. That's the Order of the Cloud Serpent. We're on that one, can't do it. No, that's it. There might be a quest for Temple of the Jade Serpent, but it doesn't look like you get it here. It looks like uh, you get that elsewhere. So I guess we can just go and do the dungeon whenever. Uh, the oh, the duh, they've probably moved the quests on the inside. That's what it is. The quests are in the inside of the dungeon, and that's why they're not showing up out here. Duh. Uh, makes sense. But yeah. So uh, we're actually going to go ahead and head over to the Arbitorium here. And we're going to start the Order of the Cloud Servant. Because uh, I don't think it's long either. A couple quests to get the daily started. We'll do the dailies and then like check out the eggs. See how bad it looks and stuff like that. Alrighty, here we are. Are these Serpent Nationals suiting for pet battles? Oh, okay. Cool. Wild things. Huh? Alright. Do I have this flat point? Sure do. All right, we gotta go over to this island. Now this is where Trillium and stuff can spawn. It's like over here. Um, God, look at all those quests there. That's in Kunlai. Um, but yeah, so this is like the max level zone of Jade Forest. Um, it's all associated with Order of the Clouds Serpent, so it's really not like a big deal, but as you see immediately, Trillium. Trillium's pretty nice. Instead of just normal ghost iron, we can get Trillium here. I mean, it's kind of everywhere. So, that's where you can get Trillium in Jade Forest, if you were wondering. Tell me of your trouble. But our, here we are. Uh, rippers or Egg Drinkers. May the mist uh, empty nest, hatchlings to their nests, gotcha, no and egg collection, serpent eggs, sure. See, like, where are these quests? These quests weren't showing up. Is it... I don't know. Oh, they're probably under Order of the Cloud Serpent of some sort. <laughs> Or a drinker dead. I can't use that other. Where is their nest at? Like, where do we return these guys? Oh, probably up there. You think? That, that would probably make sense. Also, what are the serpent eggs? Which color are they? It's too far away. Is this the nest? Is this where I return them? It looks like it'd be where I'd return them. Right here? No? This one? Yeah, that one. Okay. Got that. Now we need to find these. Uh, I don't think the eggs are actually here. I think they're elsewhere. Which makes sense. Alrighty, kill a couple more of these guys. And I'm pretty sure the daily quests for this area are just the same as these. At least very similar. They're very basic quests. They're nothing complicated. They're not like in-depth quests or anything, which I'm sure no one is surprised about. Ooh, rich Trillium. That is not a Rich Trillium vein. That is a bird. There we are, look at that. Six white trillion more. Nice. Serpent eggs. Start collecting these. We got some turtles. I need to be paying attention because I need to there's those BOE like zone or zone drops. I mean I guess they're zone drops. They're basically world drops, but for some reason they're like certain ones are tied to each zone for some reason. I don't know why, but as far as I can tell, that's how they work. And I need to figure out, like, oh, there you go. Got my mind on my money. I looted 100,000 gold. Now we got to do 200,000. Cool. 
But uh, yeah, like uh, I need to pay attention to where I see big groups of those mobs because so far I've only saw like certain mobs in very sparse positions that have the actual zone drop potential. So I need to try and find stuff that is uh, a little bit better than that. Got you beating the odds. That's given a lot of rep. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Oh, we get to choose our first egg here. Alrighty. Um, let's take the yellow one right now. We have to get all of them, so it's not like it matters. Uh, no, I'm not changing my mind. I turn the other into eggs, return to the instructor. This gets our first of the three mounts, and the other two we just have to buy once I think we hit Exalted. We have to max out our rep with the order, then we can buy the other ones. But, uh, I mean, we're already almost honored, so, I mean, it's going pretty fast. Um, so, not really a problem. Just something we gotta do. There's a lot of achievements, a lot of stuff we gotta do with the Order of the Cloud Serpent, but uh, I don't know anything about it. I've never done their grind either. Ooh, watch my egg hatch. Sure. Let's watch this yellow egg hatch. Yeah, I've kind of been a part of your association for like five minutes. I guess we don't get the mount straight away. I guess we have to actually, like, uh, fully raise it. Probably through doing quests? Maybe you gotta... Like, I don't know. I don't know how this works. But we're gonna have the hashling first, yeah. Pretty cool. I don't know why the screen's flashing, but... Cutscene can't handle the fucking cute dragon. But yeah, there we go. That gets us, uh, I don't think this actually gets us anything directly, but why is the quest? Whatever. Hello. Next there we are. Please take care of it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, that makes us honored right there, which then allows us to start our daily grinds. Sweet as honey. Yeah, we can do that. Catch. All right, this is the one you have to do like 25 times. Um, so, I'm just gonna do it. I can't tell what just happened. I need a more open area. This place sucks for this. Let's go over here. Why can't I do this yet? Is there a ball out? I think it glitched out. Let's start this again. Alright. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. I've done the fire torch mini game. I can do this. We just need to be in an open area. Yeah, they give you quite a bit of time. There we are. Here we are. Oh, shit. I'm looking at the wrong one. Still made it in time. I don't like how this one stays. Jesus. Uh, we need an even bigger area, apparently. Obviously. Ferdinand. Screw off. Can't you see him playing catch? My hatchling's getting that one. Bounce it this way. Where'd you even bounce it to? Over there! I can't even jump up there. I caught it still. Stop throwing it in the water. <laughs> this is this has become much more challenging than it needed to be. God. Did I catch it? No. All right. This place sucks for trying to do this. Like, can we, like, please not have it in such a horrible position, please? Like, can we stay in a nice, open, flat area? 
We need to do 25, so we have to do like, I mean, I guess we have to catch it 24 times, essentially. Dude, that is rough to make. Like, without using a speed boost. I guess I need to run towards where the hatchling needs to catch it, too. I need to be close to... Because he always throws it decently close to where he caught it. So if I go to where he's catching it, I at least have a little bit of wiggle room. Like, if I go over here... Yeah, then it's, you know, it's within a... It's probably within a certain range of where he catches it. Now, don't continue to go this way. Go back the other way, please. He, he's going this way. Oh, he's really going this way. How... Like, what is that? I didn't even get to catch that. Dude. I... Uh, this is annoying. Is it based on, like, where you're looking? Like, if I look this way, will it kick that way? Ooh, it did. Is it based on where I'm looking? No. So, if... Well, let's see if it's consistent. It is. So, I need... Okay, that's kind of my bad, too, then. Because I need to focus on pointing it in a direction that I want it to go. That makes sense. That's, you know, my bad game. You know? Like, I need to be kicking it towards where I want to go instead of kicking it, like, off the map. <laughs> makes sense. These are the uh, world boss mounts, by the way. Uh, that's the Shaw of Anger. That's Narlek on the Isle of Thunder. You're not a world boss. You're the one that you have to grind and veil the Eternal Blossoms by killing random mobs and getting the really rare drop ten times or something. Uh-oh. Where are you kicking it? Okay. Then I want to face it back that way. He's kicked it back me. Back me? Back to me. So we kick it back over there. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. If he kicks it that way, that's where I'm getting scared if he kicks it this way. This is fine. Face it that way. Ooh, I kicked it far. Okay. It's fine. Just kick it away from here. Perfect. About halfway there. That's fine. Kick it straight. Alright, now that I actually learned how it works, this is fine. This is actually, you know, sort of fun. It's a little easier than the torch tossing minigame. Like, torch catching minigame, I should say. And You know, it's just for an achievement. I, for some reason, didn't move towards it, so I just popped my speed boost there. Yeah. I need to move towards these so I have less movement. I'm not exactly, you know, Paladin, not exactly the fastest class, especially outside of Divine Steed. Uh, generally quite slow. Well, wow, that was pretty quick. Okay, I kicked it like right under Narlek there. Oh, wow. I need to like really get like right on this so I know where to go. Ready? We're almost to the final five here. Not too far. Nice. Hatchling kicked it. Pretty good spot. Not too far. Face it that way. Just don't kick it super far, me. That's fine. Where are you going, Hatchling? Okay, that's fine. Just f face that way. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, right under Narlek. Or, sorry, Hykanth. Okay, three more to go. You should get rep for each catch you do. This should be the way you grind it out without doing just dailies. You could just keep playing this. That would be a cool idea. I'm pretty sure it's 25. I don't like that at all. I forgot I had war mode on. I don't like random horde wild imp showing up. Alright, we got it. There we go. Perfect. 
25 bounces. If there's one that requires even more, we'll do that some other time. Whoa! Okay. Snack time. Fish. Any fresh or salt water. Yeah, I can do that. Fragments of the past. Ooh. I can't do that one. I Archaeology, I can't do. Ooh. <laughs> Um, yeah, I sold those bandages I got. Okay, Jesus, so you're like a profession daily, I see. Um, fish cakes. I can make these. I need to fish golden carp, which I can easily fish. I can fish that, like, right here. It's just fresh water, open fishing. So this we can actually do real quick. Ferdinand? Uh, but I need to fish the ten sugar minnows, and I need to fish seven more. Whoops, uh, seven more golden carp, so I can make the fish cakes. Um, just so I can actually get those done. You are the quartermaster, essentially. Uh, before I do that, no, I sold those before I got off last, so can't buy those bandages back. So Jeez. no point in us having that one. Oh shit, does that mean I gotta have tailoring actually? Huh. There you go. I just realized that, yeah, there's um... To finish this quest... Welcome. Fragments of the past. Oh, no? Actually... I was getting ready to say, I have to be tailoring. I don't, because we can get them from the Zandalari supplies bags. So I just need to get um, wind wool bandages from a bag at some point. Archaeology is impossible, because archaeology in Northrend and Pandaria, I looked this up, but I was like, is there North, is there not, I know there's Northrend, you know, archaeology, why can't I see it? You have to get to like 350 or something like that, you have to get to a certain level. Hey there, carp. Um, you have to get to a certain level of archaeology before Pandaria and Northrend, um, what are they called? Um, archaeology sites even show up. So until our archaeology is high enough, we can't even see them. So basically we can't do archaeology yet still. Uh, that would require other, uh, things. So... That's not something we have to worry about. We don't have to do tailoring because we can get the bandages from bags. So we don't actually have to be a tailor yet. We just have to, you know, next time save the bandages when we get them. Um, so that we make sure we do that quest at least once. We need, what, eight of them? And since... See, and this is the thing. They were all kind of made... What the hell is that? Okay. Whoops. Um, they were all made as, like, uh, secondary professions. Fishing, cooking, first aid, and archaeology. They were all secondary professions. They're all supposed to be, per, uh, like, uh, quests that everyone could do with their professions. But uh, since they removed first aid and Im implemented the bandages and stuff into tailoring, now it requires a primary profession. Kind of unfortunate. V very unfortunate, even. But, uh, you know. That's just how it is sometimes. Anyway, that gives us Windward Isle explored. We've all, we still have a lot over here to explore. Um, as for the Master Pet Tamers, I went to them... Well, I haven't gone to both of them, to be fair. I went to this one, and I was, like, looking at her, and she wouldn't challenge me. I couldn't challenge her, so I don't think it's possible to do at least her. Maybe you can do the other one. But um, I'll have to actually um, confirm that. I'll try and do that, like, uh, next time I'm around them and stuff. Like, I'll like interact with them a bit more maybe do a bit more looking stuff up that's all the golden carp we need now we just need to catch the other sugar minnows and we can turn in these dailies 
We can't do all of them, but we can do most of them. We also have the races. What else do we have for Order of the Cloud Serpent? Uh, where is the Order of the Cloud Serpent? There's a bunch of other stuff we have to like go around and get to still, but like we got that one. We still haven't got that. Forget the, here it is. Order the Cloud Serpent. Uh, you know we have to get Exalted, of course. Done all these quests. Like we have to do the flight training quest line here. Clearly, uh, I guess we haven't joined the order. I guess we have to actually finish the uh, stuff we're doing. These are probably based on like rep. You probably have yeah. It requires a minimum of revered. So once we get revered, it looks like we can actually be pretty much done with the Hello. all the quests and stuff. Oh, I need to actually cook the fish cakes to... Uh, fish cakes, this is actually our first thing we're cooking in Pandaria. Or the fish cakes here, so that's pretty nice. Uh, Pandaria delicacies. Do we actually have to eat these? Pandaria delicacies. Did I spell delicacies wrong? Or is it part of the... No, that's probably the just other half of cooking. Like where you have to cook even more. Ooh, that does not reward a ton of rep. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but... Also, just in case. Just a flesh rune. Let's pick this up. Let's see if I can heal the hatchlings and see if that counts. I very, very much doubt it, but... uh. It's worth a shot. So how do we get this? Nearby honey keepers. Oh, we're killing the little bees that we saw. I see. Makes sense. Alrighty. That's not a problem. Run around and kill the tiny little bees. Something died over here. Something did. Alright, Ferdinand, you're dead. You've annoyed me one too many times. No, you're not. You're not doing anything, buddy. Thanks to the purple eggs. Wow, that is a lot of them. There were a lot there. There's some more. Oof. There we are. Man, they do not reward a ton of honeycombs, though. I need to get closer. There we go. Five more. Probably two more batches of them. This one and one more. Yep, just a little bit more there. We see any more? Just need the tiny ones. There they are. God, you all are kind of hard to see, I tell you what. Yeah, die, please. There we are. Uh, uh, there we are, sweet as honey. Thank you. Ooh, that gives a lot more rep. That's funny, doing the ones with your hatch. I guess that makes sense to a degree. Needle me not. What is this one? Use the honey at the northern clearing and kill the orchid needler. Okay. Sure, I can do that. Thank you. Yeah, that gives a ton. Oh, uh, I see. So now we gotta kill, like, the boss. Oh, no. That was difficult. Anyway. Back to turning this in. Here we are. There we are. Needle me not. Boom. Wow, that's a lot of rep. Alright, I've done all I can today. Ha so... Mmm, oh, you probably can't do that until you actually can, you know, ride a cloud serpent. Probably makes sense. Yeah. Alright, anyway, let's go check to see if we can heal the hatchlings. I doubt it, because it says bandage specifically. So, I think we have to wait until we get a ba another bag with... Ooh, nice. 
uh, another bag with um, bandages and come over here and do this once. Um, but outside of doing this last daily quest that is possible for us, uh, I also gotta find the buggers. There you go. Like if I heal you, does that work? No. Yeah, no. Unfortunate, but also not surprising. Lay on hands. No, he's good. He's, he ain't getting up unless I bandage him. Unfortunate, but not too surprising. So we can go ahead and drop this quest until we get some bandages from one of the bags. So next time, uh, I'll be paying more attention to that. But now, the more important thing that I need to do while here is I need to be on the lookout for onyx eggs, I think is what they're called. Actually, I know it's what they're called. They're little black eggs, and you can, and it's like the nether, nether drake eggs for the nether wind rep um, in TBC. And if you never did that, it's basically a rare spawn egg spawns, you can loot it, and you can turn it in for a big bunch of rep. Oh, there's some lore. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, but essentially, we could farm these eggs instead of having to do the daily quests over and over. Um, you can do these eggs as often as you can find them. You turn them in and they give a certain amount of rep. I don't know how much it is, but it's a good amount. Now, there are maps and stuff that show all their spawn points. I don't know all their spawn points. That's a mushroom. Um, which means it's very unlikely that I'll find one because they actually don't glow or anything. See, they're just black eggs. You just have to be able to notice them. Um, so... And only so many spawn, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm pretty sure like only two. Oh, there's one. There you go. That's not too bad. <sighs> but yeah, there you go. So that gives you the onyx egg. And you can turn these in. Oh, there's another one right there. Good lord. Um, only a couple of these spawn at a time, I'm pretty sure. Like, people are saying two to three. This, of course, could be changed over time and stuff and more could spawn now less could spawn who knows uh, that probably doesn't count it's only on this island I'm pretty sure um, but you can turn these in I don't know how much rep each I just wanted to grab a couple I guess because there's quite a few here grab a couple turn them in see how much rep I get from it if it's a lot of rep I might just like f pull up a map and because they're supposed to respawn like pretty quickly like five to ten minutes and considering I've already found four, you know, by myself without a map and um, stuff like that, if they respawn quite quickly and I have a map, I might be able to gather a lot of them. And if they give pretty good rep, I could probably get at least revered really quickly. I mean, we're already like a sixth of the way there just from doing the dailies. And if I can get, you know, if the eggs give close to the same amount of rep as a daily does, then I could... What is that? A stash of gems. Okay. Sure. I think that's one of the... Tre There's a couple treasures that showed up on all the things, too. I think that was one of them. That's a pair of boots, but uh, they don't seem to mean anything. There's that rich ghost iron. We're going to look around, see what we can find on this island. There's that popping up again. We're, I mean, we're clearly not on the Dragon Isles, but whatever. Uh, you know, whatever you want to say, game. The points don't really matter too much. I don't think we're going to be able to max this one's out this month. Just because most of the points are located in areas we don't have access to. So, it's unfortunate, but not too bad. Yep, we're just going to do a little bit more checking around, see what the island looks like, see if we can find some more onyx eggs. We're going to go turn these in, and then um, that'll probably be it for now. 
There's another one. See, I mean, like, that's, what, five onyx eggs? Yeah, in no time. And like I said, apparently, if, you know, everything can be believed that I read online, which I know it can't, but, you know, sometimes I like to believe it. Um, they respawn quite quickly. Now, not in the same places, of course, but, like, that doesn't really matter. You know, if the... They just... All I need them to do is respawn at all, so that, uh... Fly around again and pick them up. There's another one. Like, see, imagine if these were worth, like, a thousand rep each. We would almost be done to revered. Now, I don't think they're going to be worth a thousand rep each. They're probably going to be worth a couple hundred. But either way... We're going to call it there. That's going to be good enough. And that was pretty good. I mean, that's, that's a considerable amount of rep we just got from just flying... Well, considerable amount of eggs. I don't know how much rep they are, but... It's a considerable amount of eggs. At the very least. So we're going to go turn these in, and then the... That will be that. You know, I don't have this flight point up here. I should probably grab it. There's a lot of flight points, apparently, I don't have. Did I not grab Tien Monasteries? It says I don't have this ones. Huh. That's weird. I was just there. It also says I don't have this one over here, but I'm pretty sure I have Emperor's Omen. Welcome. Yeah, I literally do. Well, now I don't see it on here. I guess it was probably just broken. It didn't know. Ooh, I, probably because I never, like, opened the flight path thing. But I think I I think I have all the flight paths now, don't I? Tell me of your troubles. Tien Monastery, The Village, Don's Blossom, Aorium, Temple Grounds, Nectar Breeze, Podon, Pearl Village. Yeah, I think I have them all now. Eh, whatever. Rich Ghost Iron, let's grab it. Alright. See, like, see? What, why do you count as the Death Spite Breastplate? But nothing else does, right? Like, is that just... Is that because, that like, someone got it off that mob? Or is it because it legitimately is, like, one of the only mobs that drops it? I don't know. I have no idea. But, uh, that's something we'll have to figure out at some point. Not now. At some point. Alrighty. Let's go over here. Let's turn these eggs in. See what we get per egg. See if this is worth our time. I know the answer is yes, but... Onyx the goodness. I have an Onyx egg. Uh, yeah, that's 550 rep per egg. That's a lot of rep. I mean, we just picked up 3,300 rep. Um, that's no joke. Okay, yeah, this, this rep grind will be nothing. This will take no time at all. We can finish that ridiculously fast by just getting eggs. So, uh, I'll probably do that off camera. Because if... You just saw me do six of them, and it's clearly not hard. Anyway, you all have a good one.